3D Easter Bunny Pendant Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a cute little bunny rabbit pendant base that has, or it's a pendant, and it's got a yellow kind of sheer background that's a gel polish from Madame Glam, and I'll put a link to that in the description box below, so check that out as well as a discount code. And then it's got a cute little 3D bunny on it. I absolutely love the way this turned out. I had to put on Melody's little Easter basket. I hope you guys like this as much as I do, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So here is my little pendant base that I'm going to be using for this and I'm going to set that on top of a nail form backing and then hold it down uh, using quite a bit of pressure so that the acrylic doesn't sneak in underneath my pendant base since this doesn't have a back to it at all. And I'm going to fill that in with some clear acrylic and if you do this on top of the nail form backing it'll just peel off once it's set and you won't have any problems with getting paper stuck to it or anything on the back. It'll just come right off but you can also do it on top of a nail form itself if you'd rather. But just hold that on there, fill that in as smooth as you can. And then after you have it done, as you can see, it is really nice and clear and it looks actually pretty cool. I'm going to take some Madame Glam color that's called uh, Lemon Delight and it is a jelly color. So that clear base is going to show through and you have kind of a really cool foggy, almost stained glass background, which is awesome. At least I think so. And I'm going to apply two coats of this color and this color is just really cool. It's like I said, it's a jelly color, but it's kind of a, a foggy color. And it's got some different colors of glitter in it, some yellow and some pink and a little bit of blue that just all looks so very Eastery. It's just, you looked at me like, oh my goodness, this is Easter in a bottle. And then I'll apply some gel sealer over the top of it and cure that again. So I have two coats of the lemon color. If you want it to be more stained glassy and a little bit more see-through, then you could just do one. And then I'm going to take with white acrylic and I'm going to be sculpting out my bunny. So the reason I used white acrylic instead of going through in the end my bunny was kind of like a tan color is I wasn't sure exactly what color I wanted to paint him and I didn't know that I had the colors of acrylic that I wanted to use for it in general so I decided I would do it with white and then I would go back through and paint him with acrylic paint. The other benefit with doing this is that my white acrylic is a sculpture acrylic which has a gorgeous really easy to use texture to it and that helps especially when you're sculpting something that's fairly large like this with more detail using a type of acrylic that you personally have good luck with is recommended so even if it's just clear you can definitely just sculpt your bunny with clear if that's your favorite kind to use or whatever you can always paint over the top of it so find your acrylic that you like to use the best and use that so I have his head, his body and now I'm going to do and I just did the first layer to the ears after I've got all those first little layers done and then I went through and I added the second layers and the more 3D stuff. So I started out with legs and his chest. So I'm just going to take and make those two legs coming down. I don't have the entire rabbit, so I don't like have all the way down to his feet. But I do have, you just see the little, like the tops of his legs. And then thicker across the chest so that it looks thicker against his, or compared to his back. And then add a bit more to that front ear. So I've got one ear that is facing forward and one that's facing back. So the one's facing forward, you want to add a little bit to it so it looks like it's folded over, not um, vertically, not horizontally folded. And then add the facial features. So add another layer of acrylic over his head. And then as that is setting, you can kind of use your brush to press in where the eye socket is just a little bit to create a nice little space for that. And then kind of sculpt in his cheeks and his nose area. You can always add some more acrylic to work on those areas. I added a little bit more for his nose. Like so, a little cute little sniffy nose. And then a bit more on the cheeks. Just like so. Same thing, like I said, this acrylic that I'm working with is very easy. It is, um, I don't know if it's called Structure. I believe it's called Structure by Koopa. It's their white acrylic. I have it in a huge container just because it really is one of my favorites. Same thing with Koopa's Clear. I think that's also called their structure acrylic. The consistency of it is just so great for sculpting. It makes it very easy. And then I'm going to paint my bunny with whatever color I decided. So you can do, if you have a personal, if you have a pet bunny, you could paint your bunny to match that one. Otherwise, I decided to go with kind of a light creamy tan brown combo. Add a little bit of diluted pink into the ear. You can either use a light pink or, like I said, diluted pink because I used a brighter pink that I just didn't use full strength. So mix some water into it and that creates a really nice sort of watercolor appearance over the top of it, which looks very natural as far as inside the ear goes. Add some darker areas. I didn't actually fully outline my rabbit, but I used some different shadowing around the edges so that they look darker and it did stand up from that yellow background a bit better than it might have had I not done that. 
darken around inside that eye socket, like I said, and around the eye. I did sculpt a little 3D eye with the acrylic before, and you can not worry about, you can just paint over the top of it. Right now you can add the black to it, so don't worry about skipping it when you're doing this part. Add some highlights around the eye, blending in some white. If you work fairly quickly, you shouldn't have any trouble finishing off all of the painting and being able to blend before the paint dries. If you do and you find yourself having a problem with your paint drying too quickly, frequently there are some mixatives that you can add to your acrylic paint so that they dry a little slower, but especially on something so small like this, I don't think you'll have any issues because um, it, it dries within five minutes, but hopefully that shouldn't be a cause for concern. Add a little bit of a lighter color on the tummy. You want the tummy to be nice and bright and light. I know my cat Max has a very, very white tummy patch. And what's really funny with her is that she has a different kind of fur entirely than the rest of her body on her white tummy patch. It cracks me up because she's very almost like a Persian cat on her tummy, but the rest of her is not at all that way. She's kind of a goofball. But just keep adding your little, little bits of paint here and there. Add some shadowing underneath the head so that there is some definition there. Add some black paint over his eye. A little bit almost like eyeliner too just to make him look really cute. Some more little details around the nose to make that show up. A couple little white highlights. And if you don't over blend your paint, it'll kind of make it look a bit furry and a bit textured, which adds quite a bit of softness to your bunny. And I did decide to do some outlines just around the perimeter of my rabbit with brown paint. I didn't go straight to black. I just decided to go with some brown, make him stand out a little bit from that background, and then apply some matte top coat over my 3D bunny. And that is it. Like I showed you guys in the beginning, this is on Melody's Easter basket, so I hope she'll be able to use it for many years to come. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!